probability. You take up any competitive exam like SBIPO, IBPSPO, you'll find one question on for sure in probability. But if you go for campus placements, the number of questions will be more. Probability of getting a question on probability is one. When I say this statement, what do I mean? You guys are going to tell me the answer. But before that, I have an example for you. Now, in this example, I'm going to toss a coin and I ask you a question. What is the probability of getting, say, a tail? When I toss a coin, what are the probable outcomes? Either a head or a tail. So my total number of outcomes are two. And what is my favorable outcome? That is getting a tail for sure. That is one. So probability is nothing but total number of cases and my favorable cases. Now, if I take up another example, let's say, what is probability of getting a head? So what will be the procedure? Simple total number of cases that is two upon my favorable cases of getting a head is one again. So from the understanding that we have developed here, can I define my probability as chances of occurrence of an event? Yes. And the formula for probability will be number of favorable cases upon total number of cases. Our first question will be here in this scenario we will be rolling one dice. One dice will be rolling and I will ask you a question. What is the probability of getting a number four? Probability of getting a number four. So I start with my denominator that is my total number of cases. Total number of cases when you roll a die is how many? Six. How did I say six? The number of outcomes are it can be one, two, three, four, five or six. So when you roll one die, the total number of outcomes are how many? Six. And that is what I've written here. In the numerator, numerator is nothing but a place for number of favorable cases. Favorable case is what? I should, I am in favor of getting a four. So favorable case is one. Now, similarly, if I ask you, what is probability of getting a five? Total number of cases upon favorable, favorable cases upon total number of cases. So starting always with the denominator, that is total number of cases, that gives me a six here. Favorable case, five, getting a five in how many different ways? Only, only one option to get a five. Now, if I ask you a question, something like this, I ask you probability of getting a four or a five. Total number of cases, six. Favorable cases, that is two now because I have four or five. So either I can get a four or a five. So my favorable cases will be two, which gives me two one times and three times. And that gives me one upon three. Now quickly answer this probability of getting four and six. That is total number of cases is six. Getting a four and a six is two. That gives me one by three, which is exactly wrong. You know why? Because pay attention towards the conjunction that I'm using here. Here I'm using or. So one among them should appear. So probability of getting a four or a five is two. But here conjunction I'm using is and. Probability of getting two numbers simultaneously when I'm rolling only one die is zero. Every time you roll one die, you will get only one outcome and he is asking for two outcomes at once. So this question will be wrong. Not wrong, but the answer will be zero. Now, if I ask you, what is probability of getting a number greater than four? Number greater than four, how many are there? Number greater than four are five and six. Yes, so favorable, favorable outcomes will be 2 upon total number of cases will be 6. That gives me 1 by 3 again. Now, if I ask you instead of greater than 6, I ask you the same question as to be 
प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग नंबर ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल्स टू फोर सो वेर डू आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आई स्टार्ट विद नंबर ऑफ केसेस टोटल नंबर ऑफ केसेस इज हाउ मेनी सिक्स फेवरेबल केसेस इज हाउ मेनी इट कैन बी फोर और ग्रेटर देन फोर मीनिंग फोर फाइव और सिक्स सो थ्री फेवरेबल केसेस दैट गिवस मी वन अपॉन टू यस नाउ इफ आई आस्क यू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ अ गेटिंग अ प्राइम नंबर क्विकली टोटल नंबर ऑफ केसेस इज सिक्स Favorable cases is two, three, and five. Three that gives me one upon two. Now, in a question that I'm going to take up, we'll be rolling one die. Here we'll be learning the approach that we are going to take out throughout our questions in probability. Now, when you roll a die, how many outcomes are possible? The number of outcomes is six because You can either get a one, two, three, four, or a five or a six. So, how many outcomes do I have? I have six outcomes. The total number of outcomes is six. And what is my definition for probability? Probability is nothing but number of favorable cases upon total number of cases. Now, if I ask you, what is the probability of getting a four number four when I roll one die? So, our approach will always start from the denominator. Total number of cases is how much? Total number of cases is six. Now, getting a number four that is a favorable case is how much? One. That gives me one upon six. Now, if I twist this question a little bit more, and I say, what is the probability of getting a number greater than four? So, where do we start from? From the total number of cases. That is six. And what will be my favorable cases? Number greater than four. Meaning it can be either five or six. So how many favorable cases do I have here? I have two favorable cases. That gives me how much? Two ones and threes. So that gives me one upon three. What if my question is, what is the probability of getting four or five? So where do we start from? Approach. We'll always start with total number of cases. How many total number of cases? Total number of cases remains six. Four or five. Favorable cases is I can either get a four or a five. Two that again gives me one by three. So quickly try to answer this one. Probability of getting four and six. Total number of cases is six. Getting two numbers is two. That gives me one upon three, which is exactly wrong. Why do I say that it is wrong? Now pay attention towards the conjunction that I have here. The first conjunction here in this case is or. Getting a four or a five is two because when I roll a die, I get only one outcome. When one die is rolled, the number of outcome is only one. But here the conjunction says four and six. That is, I'm getting two numbers simultaneously. Is that possible to get two outcomes when I'm rolling only one die? No. So my total number of cases where I'll get four and a six is zero. Now let's step up the question a little bit. In the previous case, I was rolling only one dice. In this case, I'll be rolling two dice and also be talking about sum. What is sum if you ask me? Let's say if you roll two dice. In the first die, you get the outcome has to be two. And in the second die, you get the outcome has to be three. Yes, two plus three is five. This is nothing but sum. Now, what is the minimum sum that you can get when you roll two dice? One in the first die, one in the second die. So minimum sum that you can get is two. What is the maximum sum that you can get when you roll two dice? Six in the first die and six in the second die. That gives me a twelve. Now, in how many different ways can you get a two when you roll two dice? Only one way. That is one in the first roll and second in the one in the first roll again. Now, if to get a Sum has to be three. How can I get it? One and two, or two and one. If I keep going like this for different sums, like four, five, six, till twelve, let's check for four. How can I get it? For four, I can get it as one and three, two and two, three and one. If I keep going like this, I'll get all the combinations possible. And they will be how many? 
total number of combinations when we roll two dice will be 6 into 6 that is 36. Now before getting to the questions on sum, let me tell you an interesting fact here. Now when the number of combinations when sum is 2 is how many? 1. The number of combinations when sum is 3 is how many? 2. Here 4 is 3. 5 combinations is 4 and here it is 5. Here it is 6, 7, no, it is 5 here, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Yes, now if you pay attention, it looks like a triangle. Yes, now if I invert this triangle and keep it here. With the 7 in the center, that is when the sum is uh, 7 in the center and other sums starting from 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, so here 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. Now the number of combinations in each case are how many? Here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a 6 here and it keeps, goes reducing to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This part here is for meager understanding but it won't be possible to write this in an examination. So, but this small thing can be written quickly and any question which we take up on sum can be solved. Let's take up a few questions. If I ask you what is probability of getting sum is equals to 4. Where do we start from? We start with total number of cases. Total number of cases in this case is how many? I know that there are 36. Sum is equals to 4. Sum is 4. How many cases do I have? 3. That gives me how much? 1 upon 12. Next question. Probability of sum is equals to odd if I say. What are my odd numbers here? My odds are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So 3, how many ways? 2 combinations. Next 5, 4 combinations. So it gives me a 6 and here 6, 12. And when I come here, it is 16. And when I reach here, it is 2, 18. 18 upon 36. So that gives me how much? 1 upon 2. Now if I ask you what is probability of getting sum is equals to 4 or 5. 4 or 5 quickly 4 or 5 4 and 3 7 total number of cases is 36 7 upon 36. If I ask you probability of getting sum is equals to 4 and 6. 4 and 6 4 is 3 and 6 is 5 so it gives me 8. 36 and 8 which is exactly wrong. Why is it wrong? Start thinking. How many ever, how many so ever you roll the dice? The number of dice can be anything. But how many sums will you get? You will get only one sum because whatever the number that appear in the number of dice will be added together to form a sum. So irrespective of the number of dice the sum will be always 1. So can you get two sums? Oh no. So how many ways? 0. Yes. Now. Probability of getting product is equals to odd. Probability of getting product is equals to odd for the same question. Start thinking and drop your answers in the comment. These type of questions will be taken in our advanced courses. If you want to watch more free videos, download our app LOL from the Play Store. And if you have benefited by the videos you just watched, do like and share them. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. If you have any queries or doubts, please do drop them in the comment section.
You can also reach out to me or my team through any of the social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram, the link for which is provided in the description below. You can also get latest updates about upcoming examinations and our new courses on our social media platforms.